Hi Capricorn and welcome to your Capricorn full moon partial lunar eclipse tarot reading. This is a big time for you guys. Um, just being Capricorn sun signs, it doesn't even have to be the moon. Those of you with Capricorn moons as well, probably super crazy. Um, but uh, anyways, what I'm going to do here Capricorn is pull a card for what is manifesting for you guys with this um, Capricorn full black moon partial lunar eclipse um, which is taking place on July 16th give or take just depending on where you are in the world so this reading is intended for July 16th through August 15th full moon to full moon so Capricorn let's see what is manifesting for you okay well this one plopped out oh nice we like that. We got the star coming out for you guys, or the stars, I should say. Capricorn, yay. To me, this is like your stars are finally aligning, okay? You feel like things are finally coming together for you guys um, with that being what's manifesting. And that can encompass so many things, Capricorn. So which area of your life you know has been in the biggest struggle because I feel like that's where you're having a breakthrough that's where you're having prosperity come in okay some magic from the universe with the stars right there so let's pull a card and gain some more insight as, as, as to which area of your life this is most speaking to okay oh nice ninth house higher learning so capricorn so many signs received this card as the area of their life that is being most impacted and affected by this moon energy and lunar eclipse so that coming out for you guys again capricorn where you've been in the struggle it's like you're having a breakthrough and this is all the way down to the spiritual level okay you've learned a lot of life lessons over the course of 2019 and now as this we have this moon in your sign with this partial lunar eclipse i feel like that's like clearing out some of this heavy energy and restoring some magic and prosperity and flow in your life because you've been working on some spiritual lessons whether you have been aware of this or not and um, you are about to receive the reward from everything you've been going through the trials the tribulations um, all through 2019 okay not just recently but this is all of 2019 so think back all the way to the beginning of the year um, when you were celebrating your birthday or to just the end of last year when you were celebrating your birthday and everything that's taken place from that point till now okay you've been going through a lot of life lessons that um, have the spiritual undertones to them a lot of growth happening inside of you and here is the reward some magic coming in for Capricorn so let's pull another card okay I guess there's our card what do we have oh my goodness so we have Sagittarius I protect you now I just have to say that um, the ninth house is the house of Sagittarius and you know um, Chiron also just went retrograde and is the symbol of this it always escapes me the name of it I know what it's Senator right yes there we go um, the wounded healer is Chiron the Senator and that's coming through very strongly for you guys but also this divine protection as well so you have this Sagittarius energy going on in your reading Capricorn it could involve a Sagittarius um, but I feel this is more about what's taking place in your life. And I'm, one other sign got this exact lineup with these two cards. And I'm trying to remember who that was. Um, let me see. It may have been Leo, actually. I don't know. I, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Sag uh, I was about to call you Sagittarius because of that. Capricorn. I am sorry. I don't remember exactly which reading. Um, so if you cross watch for, you know, um, rising or moon, you may find it that way. But another sign had this exact lineup of energy. The ninth house was Sagittarius. And so to me, 
Capricorn, that is all about divine intervention, divine protection, um, huge expansion spiritually. Like I said, you've been going through a lot of life lessons, trials and tribulations throughout 2019. And now there's a big shift to that energy. You're growing into all you have been through. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Right, so we have Aquarius, emotion, energy, seven of cups, um, thoughtful and genuine gestures, dreamy love and fanciful ideas, creativity influent, infused with passion. All right, so this energy is playing into um, your spread here. And what's interesting, Capricorn, is we just had our last full moon was the Sagittarius moon. And now we're having this Capricorn full moon. And the next full moon in August is actually Aquarius. So to me, I'm kind of feeling like um, from Sagittarius full moon to Aquarius full moon, um, it, there's a lot going on for you guys. So um, starting from like July, I'm sorry, June 15th through around August 15th, 16th is when all of this is uh, taking place for you guys. So some of you are already in this process, Capricorn, of expanding. Um, and this is like where you're just, you are seeing things so differently. Um, it, it's more soul-based and I really do not know how to articulate that <clears throat> to you. You'll just naturally sense it. it it's like you're more authentic. Um, things are starting to mean more to you or hold greater significance, um, like subtleties, sweet gestures, gratitude, appreciation, kindness, um, just all these nice, lovely energies are really getting your attention. And it's not to say that you're not these things or don't normally appreciate these things. It's just there's something happening inside of you which is making these things more important than anything else to you. And you're having this expansion spiritually. Everything you've been going through, you're just becoming wiser. You understand life better. Um, there's, I feel like some of you, and this is even weird to say, like there's something about your intelligence that's about to really expand as well. So maybe some of you are about to learn a new skill or you're going to return back to um, school to expand um, your current skill set so you can further your career. All right. Um, it's just some of you, there is a new energy coming in. You're learning something new, which is expanding you like your intelligence is growing. Your knowledge base is growing outside of this spiritual expansion, um, everything you've been through. It's like all of that leads up to this. And in that process of self-reflection, almost kind of feels like hermit mode, soul searching, um, coming to the core of yourself and what's true for you in that space, uh, Capricorn, um, you feel this desire or motivation to learn more, to grow, to expand even more than what you are today. And it, it's not to say that you haven't been working at all these things. This is so spiritual, which makes it very hazy for me. Um, but it's like, the expansion at the soul level just from everything you've been through in 2019 is opening the door for like this um, bigger version of you this uh, like more intelligent more knowledgeable wiser uh more stable version of you like more powerful than ever before and again there's like this element of magic to all of this Capricorn. So let's pull another card about timing. All right, right there. Okay, look at that, Libra timing. Um, so this is October, mid-autumn, seven weeks or seven months. And the reason why I'm pulling more timing is because even though we're looking at full moon to full moon, there's just this energy going on right now 
Um, it could be because of how many planets are retrograde. We're at the peak of eclipse season. Um, but it's, I don't know, Capricorn, this started for you mid-June. But with this coming out, it's going all the way through October for you guys, okay? And so um, the sun is about to move into Leo. And then at the end of August, it's going to move into Virgo. And at the end of September, it moves into Libra and is in Libra, you know, through the <clears throat> tail end of September through the like the first three weeks of October. And um, what comes after that is Sagittarius, the sun, or I'm sorry, no, it would be Scorpio. I take that back. So for the sun movement, Capricorn, um, it's all the way from Cancer through Libra. There's a lot of transformation taking place for you. Moon energy takes you all the way through Aquarius, which um, would be the full moon in August, right? So August is very significant for you guys, and October is very significant for you guys through this process, this expansion, this growing, this learning a new skill set, um, things really solidifying for you. And nobody likes like long time frames. It's not too long of a time frame. But um, Capricorn, whatever this is, like you started thinking about it in June and um, by October, it's like fully manifested. It's full grown for you guys. There's a lot of magic and element of destiny to this divine intervention. It's time for growth and expansion for Capricorn in big, big ways. And did I just call you guys Scorpio? If I did, I'm sorry. I feel like I did, but I can't, I don't quite know if I did. Um, oh yeah, look at that progress. Yep. You're making a lot of progress. It's like something about June. So June, July, August, September, October. Wow. That's like five months of your life. <laughs> but, um, August, it, it, I think it starts really jumping, okay? But it definitely started before that, whatever it is. Portal, yes, this is that expansion. You're stepping into another dimension. Ooh, and look at this. Sagittarius moon energy, spirituality. So you've got this Sagittarius energy coming in times three. I really feel like uh, Chiron retrograde is impacting you, um, healing some old wounds, which is also allowing this spiritual expansion, everything you've been through. Some of you, this very well could involve a Sagittarius with all the Sagittarius energy, but Sagittarius ninth house is like spirituality, higher learning, the house of spirit to me anyways. And so I see that times three in your reading spirit is all up in your world capricorn um august and october are big months for you guys just with shifting changing growing expansion things coming in some magic but again this feels very um destined like part of your life path with um all of the sagittarius energy and then the stars last out is recharge nice yep capricorn um You've been through a lot, and look at very next card out, Capricorn Moon Energy, dedication. You have been through a lot, okay? You have had a lot of life lessons this year, um, but ultimately this was like spiritual preparation for what you are meant to transform into, um, step into by year's end, okay? Lots of shifting, changing, and transform transforming for Capricorn. Um, again, this feels like it started in June for some of you, and the highlights are August and October for sure. And um, with all this uh, Sagittarius energy, you know, I would say maybe for some of you that could push out to December with that final um, eclipse we have with your Capricorn new moon um, annular eclipse. So, you know, some of this could push out all the way to that far, which again, you know, nobody wants to hear that. But seriously, Capricorn, I just have to give it like I see it. And August, October fill big months. And maybe um, December is like the finale to all of it with that final eclipse 
for you guys with your full moon, which I might add is a second, I'm sorry, new moon, which is the second new moon for Capricorn this year. You had one in early January, and now you're having one right at the um, right at the end of December. So you get two, and that one's attached to a annular eclipse. So that could be the like full completion Capricorn of a lot that you've been going through, okay? So it's going to get better, though, with the stars there, and you are so divinely guided and protected, like, you don't even have to worry about it. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups with progress. Yes, that's your um, movement forward with the portal. We have the Hanged Man. This is, um, to me you were not able to step through this portal like these big changes that are coming for you until you you know went through all these different lessons growth and understanding and shifting and perception which is taking place and will continue to take place um, at least through October for some of you all the way to December for others but you are changing Capricorn you're stepping through a portal under this uh, Sagittarius moon energy, look at this. We have the Ace of Swords. Here it is. This is you stepping out, becoming a new, making a path for yourself, um, coming into your own, coming into all this energy that I've been talking about. Capricorn, look, it is right there. And last out, we have the Emperor. There you are, on top, boss, wise. Um, very knowledgeable. Again, your intelligence is expanding somehow, your knowledge base. Um, your wisdom is just, you know, a given considering all you've been through, but that soul, there's also something taking place in your mental body which really rises you up and makes you feel in control of yourself, your situations. Um, you feel very empowered, Capricorn. So I would say, and look at this, next card out, would actually be the sun. So look. Oh wait, where did we go with that? Didn't I? Was it this? Oh, there we are. I thought I didn't display it, but I did. Okay. So Capricorn, I just want you to see this. Um, I really feel by the time the sun moves back into your sign, okay, and we have that annular solar eclipse with your Capricorn new moon at the end of the year, like that is when everything is complete for you and you are on a completely different new path. You're feeling good. You feel in charge. You are happy, okay? You're no longer bogged down by all these life lessons and just different things you've been going through. Um, there's something that has really shifted and changed in your life, in your reality, which is like letting you step through a portal here. But again, you had a lot of learning and growing to do, um, both in life as well as spiritually, in order for you to step through this portal. And now it's time, especially by the end of the year, okay? So again, I just want to iterate, August is a big month for you. Um, October is also a big month for you as well as December. So interesting that like Spirit's giving you for the, like the rest of the year. But again, you guys are on the axis for all these eclipses. So that makes sense that, you know, more like this information is coming through and you're reading opposed to others. Um, and also this to me feels like this message is equally strong for Capricorn moons and Capricorn suns. All right. Um, a lot of change and transformation for you guys, you've been through a lot, but it's for purpose. It's to prepare you to step through this portal, this next, you know, journey um, on your life path that is very destined, divinely, um, you know, orientated for you, Capricorn. So let's uh, pull out another card. And there's a storm rolling on outside if you hear that noise. Oh, nice. Look at this. Taurus, I have. Yes, Capricorn. This is what I'm talking about. This is dreams manifesting into reality. Okay? This is you 
not feeling in the struggle. This is you feeling like you have accomplished, um, like you're grown, you're stable, you're wise, you have abundance, you have resources. Some of you, this could be a huge shift to your lifestyle um, where you're really, like your hard work, your energy, your dedication is really like creating this path for you to where you're stepping through a portal of like luxury where life is way different where if you were always you know using coupons and trying to save a dollar just to make and your resources last it's like this path you're on is leading you to a place where you don't have to worry about those things anymore it's not to say all your money troubles are gone and, and you're all rich but um it's like a huge increase to abundance to resources for you guys as you step through this portal and a lot of you this might have to do with like um career because again there's this expansion to the mind as well that i'm picking up on and it's just it's paving this path for you the dedication of you your energy your effort your hard work everything capricorn is about to pay off in big big ways for you i love the stars paired up with um this taurus card here because it's like you have everything that you want, like you're very content by the time that um, annular eclipse comes with your last new moon of the year, okay? 2019 looks like it goes out with a bang for you guys and you're sitting very pretty in a much different place in energy than you were at the start of the year, okay? So Capricorn, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care.